everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. Thank you for watching Matter Hackers Minute. If you like these videos, please subscribe below. If you missed the last one, click the link above for more real life 3D printing stories. One of my personal favorite 3D printing revolutionaries is Rebecca Buckhoff, known on Twitter and here in the office as 3D Queen. She's the Technology Professional Development Specialist for Moreno Valley Unified School District. So she's discovering the best uses of 3D printing for classrooms, training teachers on how to administer the lessons, and then also facilitating after-school programs for girls. Rebecca pioneered professional development for 3D printing in her district, and it's snowballing. The way she describes it, it's not just about her 30 kids. It's about the hundreds of thousands of kids that she can reach by getting to their teachers. She started with one cohort and 12 teachers, and now dozens of educators come to her for trainings on 3D printing and then take these lessons back to their classrooms. Rebecca knew she was hitting critical mass when her own daughter came home from school really excited about a lesson from her teacher, which Rebecca recognized as one of her own lessons from her training. When designing curriculum for the classroom, there are standards for each grade level in Common Core, but also anchor standards that cut across all grade levels, building upon each other. Geometry is one of those standards. Perimeter, area, XYZ graphing, those standards cross over grade levels. So Rebecca designed a lesson that could be used for second through fifth graders to talk about the science of snowflakes and how they're built on a molecular level. Then she gets into the math of six-sided geometry and rotational symmetry, which means when you turn them around, they look the same. The students then go into Tinkercad and design their own snowflake using the concepts they just learned and 3D print them. These kinds of low floor, high ceiling lessons can be modified for standards, vocabulary, and abilities of every grade level. Rebecca uses Tinkercad as her main modeling software because it's free and browser-based, which is very appealing for educators. She also loves their new code blocks feature, which she saw another teacher mention on Twitter. The global online 3D printing community is one thing that Rebecca is very grateful for. She says that the best connections that she has are with other women in education and creative technology because young girls need to realize that making is for them too. The girls dive into coding and 3D printing projects, which makes science and making fun, while also aligning with NGSS cross-cutting standards. You see a theme here. But really, it's about providing that behavioral and social emotional support. It's about the girls learning to work together, asking for help when they need it, and showing them that school is a place that they can look forward to going to. This will impact them now, but also encourage them to explore similar opportunities offered in the middle and high school levels in their district. And from there, they've got the up-to-the-minute computer and design skills they need to get jobs in tech, in medicine, product development, art, whatever they can imagine. For more information about Rebecca's adventures in the classroom and to access her website with free 3D printing lesson plans and resources, click the link below. Do you know an amazing educator who's really making an impact using 3D printing with young people? Leave me a comment. We might just feature them in an upcoming video. I'm Mara, and this has been your Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, give us a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe for more useful and inspiring stories from the 3D printing community. You can also go to matterhackers.com to find the desktop machines and materials you need to bring your story to life.